Hello! I wanted to give everybody a quick update on my Retaliation Bleed Gladiator that I started the Path of Exile uh, Settlers League 3.25 out with. Um, I've been having fun experimenting with different things, but I've kind of finally landed on a build um, that I'm really enjoying. Um, so I'm going to go through uh, how I put this build together, what I like about it, um, and how you can put it together too. Um, it's super simple, it's super simple to play, uh, and like I said, it's just a lot of fun. Like, slamming things and watching everything explode, it's just a lot of fun. Alright, so on your shopping list, you're going to need to pick up the uh, Surrender Tower Shield. Um, it does a big block recovery there. Um, you're going to need Jack the Axe. Uh, you'll see on my path of building, mine's corrupted, but you don't have to get one that's corrupted. A regular one will get you going fine. Um, just a rare um, helmet with physical damage penetration. You can see that on the POB. Uh, rare body armor with big regen. We don't want to have to run Vitality, so we're going to get it on our um, gear. Uh, some rare gauntlets, more big regen. Uh, the Tempest Rising Goliath boots. Um, an Alls Uprising with Purity of Elements. A couple rare rings with resistances. Um, a Rislatha's coil and the jewel light of meaning with physical damage. Um, you can see the little, um, uh, what are they, currencies out beside everything. Um, just kind of giving you an idea of what's more expensive, what's less expensive. Um, the most expensive thing here is going to be the All's Uprising, Purity of Elements. Um, right now they're about two div. Um, when I got it, I think it was three, so it just depends on what part of the league you're in. Um, early they're gonna be more expensive but um, a lot of these pieces you can make them better if you wanted to invest more um, and just like expand the build to bigger better greater things <laughs> but this is working for me like it's, it's budget you know you don't have to break the bank to play this build and that's kind of why I like it so much um, so yeah, let's take a look at the passive tree. Uh, it's pretty simple here, gladiator ascendancy. One thing to note on the passive tree is that you can see where that blue circle is. That's where the light of meaning is influencing the nodes and giving us more physical damage. Um, the ascendancy is just more block and more bleed. <laughs> About as simple as that. And most of the tree you'll see is mostly just, you know, block and bleed related. Uh, so your gems and your links, um, not going to really go through all of these here. Um, you can change some of these out. This is just what I played and what I enjoyed. Um, I like the molten shell on the automation because I'm lazy. <laughs> um, I run leap slam with culling strikes because like if a boss has a tiny bit of life left, I can just, you know, pounce over there and uh, cure that problem. Um, you're gonna need the ones that are listed as other you can just stick those in any slot they don't have to be linked to anything these are just the ones that are required to be linked um, so yeah you'll have plenty of places I think you end up with an extra socket so you could run a portal gem if you wanted to uh, and didn't want to have to worry about picking up portal scrolls uh, that's always an option um, but yeah and you can also trade out the slam skill for something else if you don't like ground um, <coughs> sorry ground slam I just really enjoy ground slam so I run that um, but yeah also you could get awakened versions of these gems to make it even better even stronger even more powerful uh, for Pantheon depends on what content you're doing just try to make sure you remember to max them out I run Ericali and Tukahama um, and for your bandits kill them all just kill all the bandits nobody likes bandits I mean some people like bandits I think bandits are okay but uh, yeah go ahead and take your passive points and kill those bandits uh, that old guy in town will be proud of you. <laughs> so here we're just going to do a quick um, live demo of the build. I just did Badger Private League, um, which is a weekend event race. And um, so my hideout's kind of a mess. I've started trying to build a new one. <laughs> Don't judge me. Um, but yeah, so we'll just slap this over here and move stuff out of the way so we can uh, run a map real quick and show you this build. I'm starting to work on a new build, so I wanted to kind of finalize this one so I can move on. That's why my inventory looks like that, because <laughs> uh, I'm just like playing around with stuff. Um, quickly go through my flasks here. I've got um, Curse Immunity with this uh, Sulfur flask, highly recommended, 10 out of 10, great flask. Uh, and just your basic other flasks that 
Uh, you can replace those, you know, a progenesis, you know, if you wanted to go hard on the build, throw a progenesis in there. Um, okay, so I don't have a tier 17, we'll just run some random 16 that doesn't suck. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, fields. Fields is good. Alright. And we'll just chisel that bad boy up. And hit it with that Alk Orb. And then, um, so the only modifier you really gotta worry about is if it has reduced block recovery, is you'll die really quick. Um, and Reflect Fizz, which there's ways you could mitigate that if you really needed to do the map, but, um, you know, if you're lazy, just run with that. Okay, it didn't corrupt or anything, so this is be an easy map, but we'll just run it as a demo. Uh, I have done tier 17s with this build. I've done bosses with this build. I haven't done Ubers. Uh, I may eventually, but I think I might need a little bit more investment to do Ubers. I'm not sure, or a lot of patience. <laughs> uh, we'll just throw Maven on there and um, yeah, see how this goes. So what you want to do when you get in the map uh, is just go. And you kind of wait for something to hit you. As soon as it hits you, blow them up. Pow, they're all dead. Um, and you can see that thing pop up over my head. That's when somebody hits me, and it's hard to see with the shrine buff. Uh, you can see it on the hot bar. When something hits me, my eviscerate will be available to use. So, if you'll watch, I kill these too quickly with ground slam. There we go. So, pow, all dead. It just, it eviscerate hits so quick and so fast, you don't even really see it. Everything just dies, which is pretty great. Um, so yeah, you just go ground slamming around. Like, I'm using ground slam, like I said, just because I like it and it's pretty. <laughs> uh, you could use any, uh, slam skill in that spot if you wanted. Whatever you like, whatever feels good to you. But we're just going blasting around, hitting them with the, uh, eviscerate when it's up. I mean, nothing is even tickling us in this map. Um, and this is a tier, you know, a corrupted tier 16. Not one that had terrible mods, of course, but you know, you get the gist of it. You can you can pretty much do all the maps on your atlas with this build, and with more investment, you know, you could take her. I, like I said, I'm sure it could do Ubers, and there's probably builds out there that other creators have made um, that like retaliate bleed retaliations that are like mirror to your in-game gear. Um, that you could research if you really wanted to go ham on this. Like this is really just a chill build for me. Um, I look forward to playing it. I love the slams. I love like the the bleed explosion pops from the ascendancy. And you just stand around and wait for something to hit you. Like you gotta wait for something to step to you. As soon as they step to you, you just blow their faces up. See, watch, watch this guy. He'll step to me, and then he's gonna get blown up. This guy, look at him, he's like, I'm gonna fight you. And I'm like, okay. And then you just blow him up. That's all, that's all you gotta do. Look at this, look at look at that health go down. It's so good. You'll notice when you hit him with the eviscerate how fast that life starts going down. Uh, it's very satisfying. Uh, but yeah, so there we go. Um, Drop me a map there. And that was Witness by Maven. So yeah, it's just a really fun build. It's just, Fun. It's relaxing. It doesn't fill your screen with like clutter. It's just clean, easy, quick. Uh, doesn't have any like complicated interactions or mechanics you have to worry about. You run around, stuff hits you, then you kill it. You know, <laughs> that's, that's about the gist of it. Um, so yeah, I hope you, um, if you've used the build and you like it, you know, let me know in the comments. Um, I really hope you enjoy it. Um, thank you for watching the videos and following my League Start to Settlers League. Like I said, you could probably make this a lot better. Um, and I hope you do. Hey, if you got a POB of like a mirror tier super awesome version of this, uh, link it in the comments. Thank you. Uh, I hope to see you on my Twitch.